I'm Madeline from Loom Love. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Geometry Dash Bracelet. As you can see, I've made a lot of them and that is because they are very easy and fun to make. Your loom should be set up in the normal staggered position with your red arrow pointing forwards. You're going to take your first black rubber band and place it from the first middle peg forwards. Then you're going to take your other color and go from the first left peg to the first right peg. So it's like a cross. Then you're going to take your other black band and go forwards in the middle. And then take another band and go from the first right peg to the first left peg. Now go up here again and cross and go up in the middle and then cross. You don't have to skip any of these pegs here except for the last two on the ends. You're going to go forwards again. And you're going to continue the same thing all the way down the loop. Oops. Oops. So once you get near the end, this should be the second last band you place, so from here to here. And then your last band you will be placing is going to be from this peg and cross over. Now you can push your bands down because it will be easy, easier when you start looping. So um, we're going to add one more band just as a capping band on the end middle peg. So just make a figure eight and put it back over itself. And then stretch it on the last middle peg. Now we can turn our limb around so that the red arrow is pointing towards us. And you're going to take your hook and pull back the capping band and grab the single black band and loop it forwards. And now we're not going to go all the way up. What we're going to do is we're going to do something quite different. We're going to take this side and bring it to that peg in the middle. And then do the same on the other side. So grab this band, it's the same band, and loop it to here. So it should look like that. It has like a small tiny cross, um, like an X on that band. Now we can pull back all those bands, make sure you get the bottom one, and loop it forwards. And then in my case it's the teal one, and you're going to loop it to here. And then loop the other side into the middle. Now we're going to repeat the same steps. So go into the middle and grab the band that goes forwards. And then grab the side band and loop it onto the middle peg on both sides. And then pull it back and do the same thing.
So once you get to the last peg, you're just going to go forwards and then do the same loop those, the cross pin into the middle. Now your whole loom should look like that. It helps me to turn the loom around so that the red arrow is pointing forward. And I'm going to stick my hook down the end. Make sure I got all those bands and attach one black band to the hook and bring it up. And I'm actually going to do my extension right now. How you do that is you just keep sliding bands through until you think it'll be enough. I'm going to do four. So there and now I can just attach this to the gripper of my hook and you can take it off. Now I'm just going to attach my C clip to this end. And then to this end. Once you're finished, it should look like this. There you have your Rainbow Loom Geometry Dash bracelet. Thanks for watching.